as well as a competitor. He was everything. Drugs took Dave out. You know, drugs took Dave's life. We all miss him, and I'm sure wherever he's at right now, he's having a good time. I wish he could have been, I wish he could still be around now. Crack sucks. My name's Dave Vanderspeck, and we just started this freestyle team called the Curb Dogs. We're 
from San Francisco Bay Area and we're raging freestyle team in the NorCal. Because all the freaks down in LA think they're so hot and this NorCal people have no exposure whatsoever so I created this team to bring out a little fun in the park and stuff and maybe expose NorCal and put it on the map. Someday I'll work up so like I can be like as good as Dave and stuff and be in the real curve dogs. Yeah, get rad or go home, but do it safe. Ain't nothing but a curve dog. Trump all the time. Ain't nothing but a curve dog. But do Trump all the time, time, time. It's all we do. Traveling in the daytime, dog in the moonlight, too. Let's hit you up. You ain't true. freestyle going in the next couple of years you've, you've been riding since when 1983 wasn't it yeah and uh, and where do you see freestyle going do you see it progressing uh, in, an, in an upper in an upper fashion freestyle has continually grown since I've seen it I've seen it at the um, Grand Nationals at Las Vegas and that's where I was inspired to do this stuff and ever since then I've seen my friends grow onto it skateboarders are starting to freestyle to do both I mean it's, it's basically continually growing and growing and growing you can't help it I don't I think the kids like to have something that they can do without you know having someone else help them it's an individual sport and that's basically what kids like to do is something to feel proud of Dave, tell us a bit a bit about your co-sponsors. Well, I've been um, riding for about three years now, and 
I never seem to tie down one particular sponsor for some reason, unfortunately. But my co-sponsors have been keeping me surviving in the sport, thank God. I ride for dreadlocks, I ride for independent trucks and OJ wheels and, um, boy, curb dogs. They're going to jump the lake. They tried last year. Into the lake. They're going to jump the lake. They tried last year, didn't quite make it, but they have been working very hard in the off-season. So uh, we're going give it, to give it one more time. I mean, this is world-class cycling here today. They're going to jump the lake. Will, in fact, be jumping the lake. We're getting the wave of OK. Give this guy a big round of applause as he hits down the sidewalk.
didn't quite make it all the way across the lake. He'll be working hard again this off season. Is today the first time you've ever jumped into water? Yeah, it is. It's, it's a new experience I'll never forget. You, uh, if I remember correctly, you spun a 360 off the jump. Yeah, that was a bad rush. <laughs> Do you guys use special bicycles when you jump into the water like this? No, we use our trick bikes, which are ranging from 800 to 1,000 bucks. <laughs> it's kind of silly if you ask me, but what the heck.
going fine until um, we had a sticker toss or something and then the crowd started getting thick. Sticker toss? Yeah, we throw stickers and the kids in pick the up the stickers and it's like a miniature um, miniature World War III giveaway. Then. You throw the stickers and the kids fight over them and stuff. Control. The cops just got a little excited. They thought we couldn't handle it. They thought so, it was more than it was. Yeah, they thought it was more. It's usually a traditional event, and everybody knows that after the sticker toss and car smashing, you don't, you know, don't start no riot. No they don't. Because this here. is just hey, one of the events where the cops are, ten, you know, they've never seen this thing happen Whoa. before. Whoa, and and I, I think that they, they seen that, that there was a. Um, a problem here, so they called in everybody and their mother to come clean it up. Oh, it's got to go as far as court and all that? Oh, no, we don't want no court. That's cool. Okay, stop, you know, and the people do, they listen. And then I, I ask, the problem with that is, the video My car, man. Take care of you, buddy. We won't let this happen to you again. Well, I got a nice new car here for sale, $3.99. It's tradition, actually, but the windows aren't supposed to go. Yeah, I can care less. They could trash my whole body. I can give a fuck down my body to the ground. It's, it's, it's the it's windows, man. Um, you can on down my car. You can, you can trash the hell. You can gin and all in as much as you want. Kick it in, bash it up, and don't bust my windows. What happened? Oh, no. Stop, stop. Anybody get hurt? No one got nope, hurt. No one got no. hurt. No. Nobody got arrested. No one got arrested. No one got hurt. No one stole nothing. It was a harmless event.
Drug dealer is gonna get my money. <laughs> 